Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in today's lecture I'll explain what are the encoders and how we can design the priority encoders or why we need to design the priority encoders. So let's start. Basically encoders are the circuits that perform the reverse operations of the decoder circuits. Uh, in the encoder circuits you have two raised to power n or fewer input lines. and you convert them into an output lines so encoders are used for compressing the informations or they are also used for hiding the actual information It is assumed that in the encoder circuits only one input value only one input has a value of 1 at any given time. So let's start designing a 4 2 2 line encoder circuit. On the input side you will have 4 input lines D0, D1, D2 and D3 and on the output side you can have two variables X and Y then only one input line can have the value equal to 1 and rest of the input lines will be equal to 0 this will generate the output code equal to 0, 0 similarly you will select the next input value equal to 1 and corresponding to that the code will be 0 1 you can make all input lines equal to 1 at a time only one at a time all right so by keeping one input line equal to one at a time you can generate the corresponding output lines if you write down the function of the encoder circuit then you have two outputs x and y and if we treat x as an individual output function we can write it as a summation of d2 and d3 why because x is equal to 1 when only d2 is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 when d3 is equal to 1 similarly for the output function y you can simply use the OR gate for ORing the corresponding input lines where the value of the y is equal to 1 that's why y can be represented as the summation of d1 and d3 fine so you can see by taking the OR of these input lines we can design a 4 to 2 line encoder circuitry now there is a problem associated with this encoder circuit design let's say if you switch two input lines at once let's say d1 and d2 both are switched equal to 1 so when you will make d2 is equal to 1 and d1 is equal to 1 the output value of x and y will be equal to 1 1 which is neither the combination for the d2 because for the d2 the output variable x and y should be equal to 1 0 or for the d1 it should be equal to 0 1 so it is observed that when we have turned on both switches d1 and d2 equal to 1 since the functions of x and y involve d2 and d2 equal to 1 that's why they will generate the output code 1 1 which is neither the code for the representation of d2 and d1 this is the one problem that is associated with this all right the second problem is arising when we have not turned on the encoder circuitry 
then we will be getting the uh, uh, getting at the output side 0 0 which is actually the output corresponding for d naught is equal to 1 all right so these are the two problems associated with this simple encoder circuitry in order to overcome these two problems we will use a priority encoder circuit the priority encoder circuit will solve our first problem which means we will see that if both switches are turned on at a time then the input with the higher subscripted value will be given the priority and its corresponding code will be generated so let's see if you have switched on d1 and d2 at a time then since d2 is the higher subscripted value then no matter whatever the value of d1 the output will generate the code corresponding to d2 in this way you have actually prioritized the higher subscripted input line so the first problem is solved by using the priority encoder concept the second problem where you are getting the output is equal to 0 0 when the circuit is off which is actually the corresponding which is actually corresponding to d0 is equal to 1 we will solve this problem by using a valid input so the valid input will actually validate what should be the output value when there is some valid input is present so v would be equal to the or of d0 d1 d2 and d3 when there is certain valid input is present then you will get the corresponding output code okay so v should be equal to 1 for generating the output when v is equal to 0 it means when there is no valid input is present then the values of x and y will be in the don't care conditions so you will not bother about the output value of the function as long as you are not getting some valid input fine so let's design the priority encoder circuitry uh, and for that you can see the second part of this lecture thank you for watching take care